They literally had them there working until they dropped to death. And then once they dropped and died, the other slaves were then instructed to bury the individual wherever it is that they lay. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Miss Kiki. This is KMB Cooking. We are gonna be eating and cooking. I have great food, good combo, and um, did I mention great food? KMB, that's me. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Miss Kiki. KMB, that's me. And today, we are celebrating Juneteenth, also known as Black Independence Day. We are gonna be having a supreme pizza as well. KMB style, of course. So stay tuned. Okay, so I am back. We are celebrating Juneteenth, also known as Black Independence Day. Guys, today is Juneteenth. As I've already said, I wanna really get into a little something something today. I don't wanna take away from the meal, but I do wanna acknowledge the day and the fight that my ancestors and some of our ancestors had to get to where we are today. I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Um, we are having this delicious Supreme pizza that was made by yours truly. If you guys are new, welcome. Make sure you take the time to like the video and subscribe. Guys, I have new vids dropping every single week and we are home to over 1,400 subscribers. So make sure that you guys subscribe. Support me by subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. And again, welcome. I'm just ready to get right into the pizza and the topic. So... Um, guys, as I've already said, today is Juneteenth. Um, this is Black Independence Day, um, July 4th. What is it? July 4th, 1776. Our people were not free. So as a black person, I do not celebrate July 4th because my people were still in chains at that time. And even today, we're free-ish. We're not technically free. Um Anyways, Juneteenth is the day that everybody found out, all of the slaves, because there were still slaves that had not been notified that slavery is now terminated, it was illegal, there were a ton of slaves. So once word reached them, guys, it was June 19th, 1866. So this is a day that we celebrate our independence because everyone was free, although we weren't technically freed and although we weren't technically free and again as i've already said we still technically aren't 
So I want to talk about Juneteenth. Well, we kind of talked about Juneteenth. I really want to talk about what followed because a lot of people really just have this assumption that after we were freed, you know, the people who were former slaves went about their lives, living their happy-go-lucky lives, and boom, here we are today. Um, as you guys know, we dealt with um, racial tension, segregation, lynching. We dealt with so much more, but a story um, that a lot of us might not even know about that I want to touch base on because it's affiliated with Juneteenth is um, Natchez, Mississippi. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But it's a story that takes place in um, Natchez or Natchez, Mississippi. And um, it is after, and the story after Juneteenth. So after everyone was freed, of course, the white people did not like that. And it was ordered by the government that these Union soldiers go and scoop up these former slaves who had all migrated to this town of Natchez. They scooped them up, literally, and they have built a camp for them guys. Over 100,000 slaves and over 20,000 died. They literally had them there working until they dropped to death. And then once they dropped and died, whew, the other slaves were then instructed to, to bury the individual wherever it is that they lay. And this camp that they built was called the devil's punch bowl literally was something that naturally occurred and it looked like a punch bowl so there was no way for you to climb out it's almost like imagining being in a large glass there was no way for you to climb out and get out um they had built these walls um they separated the women and the children um from the men they had the men working not feeding them many of them begged to go back home to the plantation that they have been freed from just because of the way that they were being treated and they did not want to die. So as we celebrate Juneteenth, I also want to remind you um, that we are still dealing with things to this day. We are still facing so many racial tensions. There are so many stories with police brutality and just white on black crime. There is just so much. So I say this to say we, it's a celebration, but it is also still a major struggle being black living in America. I just want to say this is for my ancestors. We're sitting here now. I'm grateful that my people put up the fight that they did to make sure that we are where we are today. Even though today really isn't much better, we are still so far behind with the way that black people are treated and just laws involving us in general. But my ancestors fought and they died for this. And I'm grateful to just be me. Um, so yeah. This is for my ancestors. You know how this is all for y'all today. So I got me some tequila. I'm going to take a couple shots because it's Juneteenth. And my people's been through a lot. But we made it. We're still struggling, but we're making it. So. Whew. So when somebody says something ignorant like, oh, slavery is so long ago, and black people, you guys have your rights, you're free, right? When people say shit like that, you hit them with one of these stories because this is something that shouldn't be forgotten. This is our history. This is where we come from. And it's so much. You can spend your whole life reading these stories. There's so much hidden history. There's so much bloodshed behind us and our skin color, just in general, our fight to live, struggle, and, and be normal in this white society. Like... So this is a big deal. Anyways, guys, this is for my ancestors. Let me go ahead and take me a shot. Then we're going to dive right on into this pizza. I don't want it to get too cold. I've been sitting here running my mouth. But Juneteenth. Let's get into this pizza. Oh, it's so hot. We'll start with this one. 
So y'all, this was <clears throat> this was requested by my peeps. We're having peace of the day. Got my sprite. You guys already know. Whew. Let's get into this pizza. Pineapple. So hot, y'all. Shout out to David. These pineapples here. If you guys are still with me, leave me some pizza emojis.
that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Mm. Mm. I don't be caring if it's hot. I'm still going ha ha ha. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Let me give me some pop. Ooh. I like talking about history. Ooh, that's not in the book. Because that's the best history. The ones they tr the the history they try to keep hidden. The history that you know tends to get erased. I love that. I love searching for it, and I love being able to. the kind you gotta look for because everything that's on the surface they want you to see but the story like I just told y'all about the devil's punch ball that was literally a concentration camp but when you hit concentration camp you think about Auschwitz but honestly black people were placed in the concentration camp too and a lot of us don't even know that history. Majority of the people who know about it are from Mississippi. Go figure. Because we going to go and tell our kids stuff, but we ain't going to tell the world. And these stories have just been passed down and passed on. It's actually peach trees that grow down there. And... Of course, nobody eats the peaches because, you know, what's fertilizing the peaches, the dead bodies from all of these people in this concentration camp. They say still to this day that bodies wash up whenever it floods. 
and that just that that hits different because they're still down there it's not a memorial it's not anything it's just them dead laying down there because somebody didn't like the fact that they were given rights because technically to these white people they still were property and i absolutely hate that if it were up to me i would go back and have them clean all of that up down there because this obviously is Mississippi and it's a um, remote part of Mississippi so it's all grown up you know trees and stuff like I said peach trees and <coughs> just various things so even though it's Juneteenth we need to talk about the devil's punch bowl too but we already know that technically we weren't free like we're not free now we still got stuff happening with George Floyd and Philando Castell you know Sandra Bland it's still so many stories of the same thing these Union soldiers captured all of these slaves and these police officers that have their own Union killed these black people different times different states so, remember all of this, acknowledge this while we're talking about this. Um, guys, I greatly appreciate you guys. Um, make sure you guys take the time to like the video and subscribe. I have new vids dropping every single week. Whew. And thank you to you guys who decided to tune in today. I felt like I needed to make a pizza today and get this going. Um, cause it's just a really important day and I felt like I needed to acknowledge it because I'm that person that sits and reads. I want to know about this and I want to know about that. So that when somebody does come with their ignorance talking about, oh, slavery was so long ago. Oh, you, you guys were freed and this, this, this. No, we weren't. And no, we are not now to this day. We are not. So, you know, we're still fighting to exercise our rights and we're still fighting and fighting this fight as black people. So it's really important for us to stay together because that's what our ancestors did. Our ancestors stayed together and that's what made them stronger and that's what made us united and that's what made the world fear us because we were united. So get you a book, read you something today, y'all. Read about your history, even if it's not your history. This type of stuff should intrigue you and interest you regardless. Make sure you check it out. Ooh. Anyways, guys, I'm going to probably eat one more slice with y'all. But I'm going I'm to eat one more slice, y'all. And then I'm going to get up off of here. I'm in my kitchen baking. <coughs> the sacrifices I make. Because <laughs> my mic is super sensitive. So I don't have no air conditioner on or anything and I just cook this pizza in this hot oven. So I'm over here sweating. But it's okay because it's for a good cause. All this cheese. Mm. I'm going to share my last piece with y'all. Mm-mm. Mm. So, do you guys have any plans for today? What are your plans? What did you do? I know my baby's barbecuing tomorrow. Mm. He's barbecuing tomorrow. I love it when he barbecues. Mm. Did you guys barbecue today? Are you waiting until tomorrow? <laughs> Let me know. Mm. Okay. Whew. Oh. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, I'm about full. There's no reason for me to keep you. I'm going to let you guys go with some farewell burps. I greatly appreciate you guys. We are on the road to 1,500 subscribers. And I just love you guys so much. Whew. So, so.
so, so much, guys, because, like, oh, we just grow up so fast. The anticipation is killing me. So thank you guys so much for being the best part of can be cooking and eating. Remember to like the video and subscribe. New vids dropping every week. And it's Juneteenth, okay? Black Independence Day. about these burps I got. being the best part of KMB cooking and eating. Remember to like and subscribe. I have new vids dropping every single week. And you guys need to go... system thank you guys so much for being the best part of can be cooking and eating remember to like the video and subscribe i have new vids dropping every single week and know your history on juneteenth because today is a very important day not only for us but for our ancestors so make sure you share a story about our fight to freedom today in honor of our ancestors that's really really important because they fall hard a lot of them were on the ships. They had us on ships stacked on top of each other. A lot of them literally jumped in the water because they didn't want to be in chains. Before they even came over here to be enslaved, a lot of them lost their lives at sea. So think about that. Think about the fight. Think about everything that it took to get to where we are now. And we're still fighting. Every, are you utilizing everything that was given to you and that our ancestors fought so hard for us to have today? Are you utilizing that? Are you doing that? Do you know who you are as a black individual and your place in this crazy world? Think about that. Whew! And on that note, guys, I'm just pretty much ready to get out of here. I greatly, greatly appreciate you guys tuning in. I feel like I got a couple more burps, though.
right, guys. <laughs> That's it. Oh, all right. Thank you guys so, so much. And until next vid, peace. The burps that I don't talk about after I get off. Uh.